this is Zelda and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about the when, where, and how of getting an English teaching job in Japan from the Philippines. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and like this video to watch more content like this. Just a little bit of background. I'm originally from the Philippines and I've been living and working in Japan since 2018. Before coming to Japan, I was working as a public senior high school teacher in Bulacan. I worked as a public school teacher for about three years and before I left, my position was already teacher three. So considering my position back then, some of my colleagues and also some family members asked and made sure whether I was really sure about leaving my job, leaving my school leaving my depth and family to work as an English teacher in Japan. But when I think about it now, to be honest, I really have no regrets. So I initially came here as an English conversation teacher or an eikaiwa. Um, so I think eikaiwa, you can compare it to kumon, but they only teach English. So it's really just an English conversation school. I worked for that company for more than three years since 2018 until last year. And since last year, I started working as an assistant language teacher at a public elementary school in Ishikawa Prefecture. So if you're planning to come to Japan to work as an English teacher, and if you are from the Philippines, this video is for you. So the first question is, when should you apply? The answer to this depends on what kind of school do you want to work for. If you're coming from the Philippines, you have several options when it comes to English teaching jobs in Japan. You can work as an assistant language teacher in Japanese public schools or kindergartens or what is more commonly known as an ALT. Or you can work as an English teacher in private schools or English conversation schools in Japan. The reason why this matters is because depending on what kind of English teaching job you want to do or you want to have, you can appropriately adjust your application timeline. So knowing what kind of English teaching job you want to have in Japan gives you an idea on how to make a realistic timeline. You cannot just apply this month and expect to fly to Japan next month. That's just not how it works. If you want to be an ALT, you should be looking at April and September. That doesn't necessarily mean that you will be applying a month before those months. So why April or September? April is the beginning of the school year in Japan and September is the beginning of the second semester right after the summer vacation. So in my experience, the overall application took about six months before I could actually come to Japan and start working. So the next question is where can you find an English teaching job in Japan from the Philippines? I initially started looking for an English teaching job in South Korea because I love K-drama and K-pop. Um, but I found out that South Korean government, they only issue the English teaching visa to people from the top seven English-speaking nations. And the Philippines is not one of those countries. So definitely South Korea was out of the question, out of the option back then. And then I started looking into English teaching jobs in Japan. I joined this Facebook group of English teachers in Japan and I saw a comment from one fellow Filipino who's already teaching in Japan. I sent her a message and she was very helpful. To be honest, I owe a lot of things to Mom Michelle. So if you're watching this, I don't think I've thanked you enough. Thank you so much. You're the reason why I'm here. Well, thank you, Mom Michelle. I asked Mom Michelle a lot of questions on how she was able to land a job in Japan. And I was told that she applied through an agency in Makati City. The name of the agency is Bison Management Corporation. So Bison has helped many people land jobs overseas, not just in Japan, but in many countries as well. I made an account on workabroad.com and I sent my application there. But I did not hear from them for many weeks. So I tried applying at a different agency, which is located in Intramuros. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, I did not get a job or I did not even make it to the stage two of the application there. And my conclusion was because I was not pretty enough. Um, no, but seriously, the people who passed the first stage of application were the model looking ones, the ones who used to work for um, casinos, at hotels. They were the ones who got, who made it to the next stage. My cardigan is inside out 
just a moment but yeah i didn't make it through that agency and i tried looking for bison management corporation's facebook page and i found it so i sent them a message i asked them about my application i told them that i sent my application a few weeks ago but i haven't heard from them so one of the recruiters miss beth replied to my email she asked me to send my resume to her work email after that, I was invited to do the initial interview. I passed the initial interview and I was invited to do the second interview and a demo lesson. For the second interview, recruiters from Japan flew to the Philippines to do it and to also watch the demo lesson. So that was very nerve wracking because you were kind of competing, not competing, but kind of like that with other teachers who worked in these various fields. I remember during the demo lesson, we had to sing a song. And while waiting outside the room, we could hear the teachers. And there was one teacher who sounded like Regine Velasquez. And we're like, oh no, we're doomed. We're not gonna make it through after her. After the second interview and the demo lesson, I think we waited for a few weeks or a few days. And then we got the result by email. And we made it, I made it. I was one of the nine people who flew to Japan out of more than a hundred people. So I felt very blessed. Although it was stressful, the people that I did it with were all very helpful and they became like sisters right away. So it was a nice experience, although nerve wracking. But yeah, Bison Management Corporation is one of the most trustworthy companies or agencies that help many people. Um, many English teachers like me come to Japan. I suggest start with them. Send your application either through their website or their email or Facebook page. If you want to be an assistant language teacher, you can apply to the JET program, which is a program between the Philippines and the Japanese government. The selection process for that program is quite intense, and I've heard that it's even more rigorous compared to the selection process of teachers from Western countries. They might even prefer someone with a little bit of Japanese language background or maybe someone with a driver's license. Another option to be hired as an English language teacher is through the agency Chesham, which is located in Makati City as well. To be honest, I did not even attempt to apply as an assistant language teacher because I did not have any Japanese language background. Also, I did not have a driver's license back then. I mean, I still don't have now, but yeah, I read that they are like the basic requirements to be an ALT from the Philippines to Japan. So I did not even try. But if you have any of those qualifications, then your chances are very high. Wait, it's too bright. Just a moment. Since I didn't have both Japanese language credentials and a driver's license, I chose to apply at Bison Management Corporation instead because they were not requiring any of those things back then. Just a side note, before 2019, actually it was allowed to come to Japan with a tourist visa and then you can just convert that to a working visa. I knew some people who did that and they were successful at finding jobs here, but since 2019, they've changed that. And also the Japanese and the Philippine government they require you to come to Japan through an agency. So finding and getting a direct hired job is more difficult now than ever, but it's not impossible. So let's say you found a company that can hire you or that will hire you directly. All you need to do is find an agency who will serve as your Philippine agency. So although you were not hired through them, you can have them as your Philippine agency so that you can still go through the process of applying for a visa. And I know many agencies that can help you do that and Bison is one of them. So if you don't mind doing that additional step of finding an agency on your own to support you um, when you found a direct hired job, you can use these websites. These websites, they're very useful whether you're applying from overseas or you're already here in Japan. I suggest that you bookmark these websites because they're really useful. The last question is how, which I believe most of the hows were already answered in the previous ones, but let's go into more detail. So if you want to work in Japan as an English teacher, I'm assuming that you have already secured your passport. You don't want this to stop you or to delay the process of application. I also recommend you to prepare three recommendation letters from your references in advance. 
So the reference or the recommendation letters, they need to have the contact information of your references so that the company or the agency can easily contact them. You should also tell your references in advance to expect the company or the agency's call or email. In addition to that, if you want to work as a conversation teacher, let's say at Amity, um, you would have to write an essay detailing why you want to work in Japan as an English teacher. Now, if you want to work as an assistant language teacher through Chat Program or Chesham to work for Interact, you will be required to present a proof that you were taught in English for at least 12 years. How are you going to do that? The company or agency will give you a template, like a letter template, and you will have to write down the details of your school, name of the school, when did you study in these schools, and you will have to give the letter and ask a representative of your elementary school, high school, and university to sign the letter. And that should serve as a proof that you were taught in English. For Interact through Chesham, you will be asked to make a video lesson using one of the topics that they'll give you. They will also give you examples of these demo lessons. And you have plenty of resources on YouTube. For MET through Bison, you would also have to do a demo lesson. So yeah, just be ready for that because you will have to do the demonstration following the company's teaching style. So Amity has its own teaching style that you have to follow. And I will talk about that in more detail. So again, I'm going to be linking down in the description box below all the useful websites that will help you land a job as an English teacher in Japan from the Philippines. <sighs> that was mouthful. So yeah, I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And I will see you all again next time. <laughs> see you. Oh, you would have to say see you a lot if you come to Japan. See you, see you, see you, see you. Hello, hello. Be ready. Be prepared for that. <laughs>